Hello and welcome to the Body Surf Podcast with your budgie boys. Just Tim here this week with a very special guest, John Crookshank. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. <laughs> mate, we're down here at Maroubra Beach. It's a long weekend here in New South Wales. It's going to be a hot one and we forgot the sunscreen. Yeah, it's early though. We'll be right. It's We're in the before 10 or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, I don't know when that kicks in. For me, I think I would get burnt. On a full moon, at so midnight, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'm in big trouble. Sun to sun at, uh, at dusk. I got a message early this morning saying not a lot of swell action down here, not a lot of banks, so very straight ways. But we just went up the other end, and there are a few screamers coming through. There's a surf comp up on, up there. Yeah. We're filming this at Maribor Beach, and we've, we've got the lovely backdrop behind us. We might see a few kook slams behind us. I actually just saw one. Yeah, right. <laughs> The south end. Do you get out much this way in your day-to-day life? Nah, not heaps. A little bit go to the skate park. I remember doing a performance and it was like South Maroubra, mm. life-saving club or whatever, mm. like a comedy gig. And there's one just up here, you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm thinking, that's this is Maroubra and that's reasonably, like, you know what I mean? You'd call that and all. And then I go there and go, where's the comedy? And they go, we don't know what you're fucking talking about. They go, there's another... South Mar- you know what I mean there's <laughs> further south Maroubra there's another one down there Surf Life Saving Club I'm so bad further with further south you know? yeah with all that stuff like you go down south but you're kind of travelling north and I don't even know how it all works yeah because it's all relevant in terms of where you're coming from yeah yeah well that's true yeah <laughs> it's it's me against the world <laughs> I suppose you're right it's like the iPhone where it has the things you know which way you're facing yeah 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 um, but yeah not heaps but I'm, I'm here I mean I'm here now yeah skate park's good yeah you get in the water much? generally hmm. oh a little bit I used to a lot more and now it's not that I can't be fucked I'll get in the water I mean we'll swim after this maybe quickly and then uh, but not I, you know, not, not that I've, I feel like I've clocked swimming by any means, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been to the bay, and it's so fucking hectic at the. You know what I mean? Like it's such a mission. Yeah. In in this city. Oh, for sure. We just had a bit of an issue trying to get a spot, and it's early morning at Maroubra. Yeah. People but, are already flocking down. Yeah, but luckily, like we were last week, and touring and stuff, doing shows in Byron and stuff, swimming in the beach there. You oh know? yeah. So yeah. that was good. That's the thing. If you're doing gigs in those sort of spots, you gotta whack the the speedos in and jump in. Yeah, it's just for too sure. Nice to get yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. It's 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 really good. Even if you're flying in, flying out, you've only got a, a window. You got to jump in the water. Yeah, it makes it feel more exotic. Yeah. Like definitely like doing shows and stuff. You know. A bit of a work vacation. Yeah, if you can do it. So. I see also when you, you're doing a few gigs here and there, even when you're gigging in Sydney, if you're gigging ar- around, you know, New South Wales or Queensland, things like that, you're, you're doing laps. You're jumping in the pool. Yeah, I like the pool. The pool side of things is good. Um, there's a pool somewhere here my mate goes to that he reckons really good, the Aquatic mm. Centre. I'm not sure where it is. Um, but it's, yeah, it's cool. It's cool, like, swimming. I mean, it's, yeah, if you're into lap swimming, that's good. And then it's a good... Um, it reminds me of skating in that you'll check out a, sp- a spot. That's what it feels like, a skate park, you know what I yeah. mean? But you can't always either one, you know, physically skate your body or whatever, but laps, you know, you can normally do. When I first got intense. into to lap swimming, I found it very depressing because you're very isolated. It's just you in the water doing laps, going up and down over and over, very repetitive. But I've started to enjoy it a bit more. I've been doing it a bit more myself. and Yeah, yeah, I mainly yeah. do it for fitness. I'm not sure why you do it. You just enjoy it for your mental health and that sort of stuff. Oh, a bit of everything. I started out as a back thing and then oh, it's yeah, just something yeah. you can always do. And especially I've got problems with my feet and knees and shit. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, um, yeah, it's good to, good to um It's the best the exercise for your joints, hey, like you're not putting too much. I guess so. I hope, yeah, I hope so. It is. It is. It is actually. Oh no! It's, you can't see it on the camera, but some fucking blokes had a massive fall just now, We've, carrying chairs like the ones we're sitting on. Oh no, he's gone again. Oh, this is like someone's giving it here. It's odd because, like, does he know them, or is he having a situation? Where are the lifeguards when you need them? 
I, did, I thought there'd be yeah. a kook slam in the water, not right in front of us. Yeah, it yeah, we've missed it. I mean, it's it's hard to know. We're at, it's at the level where we're not sure how <laughs> light we can make of it. If we yeah. had the camera rolling on that, that potentially was five grand on Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to... Nah, seems to be... Yeah, seems to be f- He's yeah. okay. Yeah. That's, that's another podcast. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. a rival podcast. But that was like... Because he fell, I mean, I guess... Felt there was a big fall, and then but he got up and then fell again, which was like I was mm. like, "Fuck, is this cunt's heart?" He's gone, gone for the you double know? take. Like, yeah. is it something like that? Anyway, oh, he's all right now. It's all he's happening down off. here yeah. at Maroubra Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the pool, but yeah, at the start I found it, uh, you know, very hard just to do it by yourself. Are you you going down with a few other comedians? Mm. Nah, nah. I got mate. I mean, I've got mates that I've swam with in the past go down, but yeah, because you don't really. It's. I mean, I guess you can brace it the other way where it's like you don't have to, or what are you up to, you know, mm. like, and you can just go um, go to the nearest pool and fucking and swim, and it's quite meditative, I feel like. Yeah, like, it yeah, is a good, yeah. it does feel good, like, in the mind, mm. and I think it is good for yeah. the body, you know, yeah. so, like, and then I like, if you get into the culture of the pools and stuff, like, it's good to go to different ones, you mm. know, like... Um, What's your favourite? Oh, I've been to a few good ones. I mean, I swim at Prince Alfred in Sydney. Oh, if yeah, anyone yeah, gives yeah. a fuck about where I swim in Sydney, and there, but you've got the Boy Charlton, which is good. Uh, and then when you're away, like Armadale, I remember's got oh, a kind yeah. of a sick pool. Mm. Uh, Dubbo, you know, definitely like the older regional centres kind of have a cool yeah, yeah. swimming pool. You know, like that's like less modern Southport on the Gold Coast which is like mm. I think they built it for the Commonwealth Games oh yeah, yeah maybe when they had that there yeah. that's that's pretty good how many laps are you doing are I you... try and do like a kilometre swim you wow. know? so 20 20 yeah. lengths or 10 whatever you call it you know um, we, we won some swam out from South Cronulla to Shark Island and that's like a two kilometre swim I've so done the show I've yeah. done the round the whatever it is yeah, like yeah. A, a, an event you know it's a good swim I did a couple of those yeah now it's like I don't know if I'd do that again. I wanted... The whole point was to do the Bondi to Bronte. Oh, yeah, At one yeah. point, you know? I'd be keen to do that. That'd be fun. I guess it'd be cool because you end up in a different spot mm. and all that. But, like, I remember when I was right in the peak of that, they cancelled that. It was like yeah. COVID, you yeah, know? Yeah. and then But they had the other ones around it. I think the Coogee Island yeah. or whatever it is. Wedding Cake Island and Shark Island. Yeah, yeah. And I did those two. Oh, Similar yeah. distance. So... But it, not that it's fucking traumatising out there, but you are out there, there's bodies flapping around, like it's intense, you know, and it's a big, yeah. you got to be like, I mean, I'm not trying to have a good time or like speed wise, you know, mm. but I'm fucking slow, you yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. like it's about an hour. So you, you got to be swimming a little bit. Mm. You, uh, people I know, they sort of just show up to them and do it. And I'm like, oh, I couldn't do that. You know, I'd have yeah. to be swimming regularly you train for pool, it, yeah. you know like and get up to i can get up to two you can make yourself do it but you get bored yeah, yeah. But a kilometer is a good amount it's like yeah i've swum you know and then yeah because you're in the pool so much you do you reek of chlorine all the time and what do you do to get rid of that smell no nah, at the prince alfred it's not i feel like outdoor pools is way better for that hmm. and it's not i mean it would you know if you ask someone close like they would go yeah no it does fucking stink of chlorine yeah. but like i feel like that uh uh particularly that print it's pretty good i think it might even be a bit salty or something yeah, no, you know a bit of a hybrid maybe so it's not as intense i used to go to an indoor one and that was full on yeah i'm in the <coughs> indoor one twice a day and i just reek of chlorine yeah. i tried to buy different shampoos and body washes all this sort of stuff the best thing for it is just jumping in the salt water that gets everything off i find yeah that makes so sense. so if you're doing one or two salt water swims a week it's not nice. yeah but then it's like if you're doing that yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm lucky. I would struggle to f- do the fully. I mean, you do what you have to do, mm. you know, in terms of swimming. And I would swim indoor, but I, yeah, I would. I used to swim at Annette Kellerman, which is in Enmore. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Into yeah. that one, but that was pretty fucking chlorine city, yeah, you know. Yeah. So you grew up in the Shire, local boy done good. You. Yeah, in Moordale, in Oatley. Yeah, yeah. Went to school nice at Janelli. So yeah. not quite in the Shire, but you know, like all the It's all the same, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. But there's not much to do. In the shy, when I was growing up, the two things you would do is go to the movies at Cronulla Cinemas or go to the beach. Is that sort of your experience growing up in that area? Yeah, I guess. Oh, it was all right. I mean, skate. I always had skate. You know, I was mm. skating by then, so I played basketball too. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot and did that. And then, 
But yeah, I guess the world was a different place. I can't even think. So where, where were your skate spots? Were you going to uh, Sutherland Skate Bowl, Engadine Skate Park? Nah, not as much. What they were around. Hitting the streets? Yeah, hit, hitting the streets. The car park of the entertainment centre. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a spot, yeah. you know. We used to go there. And then the city and stuff and like sort of... Um, it went out from there, you know. Yeah. Uh, where else? Oh, all around a few spots. Yeah, a few spots in the Shire now that I think of it. Skate at the schools and all that. Were you getting into the, the beach? Because you were so close to Cronulla. If you're jumping on a train. Oh, nah, less so for me yeah. back then, you know. More like, yeah, like just skating. I so mean, you, people go, yeah, you go you go into Cronulla though, you know. There's yeah. like parties and shit yeah. there. Like this yeah. is when I was a teenager, I guess. Have you checked out the new skate park? Out sort of near Kernel, I think it's yeah, call it yeah, I've been to yeah. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. During COVID, my cousin, who's a big fan of yours and loves skating, he took me there every day because it was the only sort of outside social exercise you could do besides body surf. You could still jump in the, the water, yeah, yeah. But skating, they just you, they didn't care about yeah. social distancing and stuff. It was funny, yeah, it was because with skating and that, it did feel like there was no pandemic in a way, <laughs> you know, like I was like, oh, and because you know you could go with your friends and yeah. do skating, so they, I mean, it was probably taking the piss of the rules or whatever it was back then fuck it seems like a different time doesn't yeah. it but um so yeah skating was good like that so but I, and i've been but i haven't been there for a while but mm. I, i've been there um it's yeah because you skated you try and skate i'm trying to get back into it as a kid uh, i was a big fan of it we were talking about vertex and skate yeah, and all these yeah. old skate parks that the shy used to have and I was down there as a young bloke. I was talking to um, Nick Kappa the other day about this because he's getting into skating as well. But there's something about a 30-year-old dropping in that just feels wrong. So I've been trying to drop in on bigger ramps. But as a kid, I was just dropping in on verts. I didn't give a fuck. Oh, sick. Oh, that's good that you got the base for it. But you know, as an adult, my, my balance is just gone. Yeah. My center of gravity. I feel like such a kook. And I'm just trying to get back into it because it is good fun and it's good exercise and things like that. But I'm just... I'm not as confident on the board anymore. Yeah. It's great that you've kept it up and you're still shredding. Oh, well, the jury's out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's good to have, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I've seen some of your videos. I mean, you're doing, like, the axle stall on small quarters. I can do little stuff. small quarters, If you got yeah. that, if you got, you know, if you can ride, like, a bit of hard, like, do a front side grind, you know, just yeah. slash it and then get back up and get the back, like, lot, you know, the axle stall mm. and, like, just keep work in the ramp yeah, like even yeah. if you yeah you're not killing it yeah but if you sort of doing that that feels like skating you yeah, know like yeah. it's a good level to be at where it's like oh you're competent i kind of need to get back into that since i've hurt my knee and stuff you know so that's that'll be the next goal for me how'd you do the knee was it skating just being right? fucking old yeah just <laughs> skating it one day pushed it too hard yeah. and flamed it that happens and then uh yeah i got a, i got a couple injuries like that now with like the inflammation in the joints it's all so you know and they're just like yeah you know, lose a bit of weight and all this, and it's like, oh, fuck, mate, you know, like, but uh, hopefully be back out there skating soon. Because she came and did Sweeney's comedy the other night, the room I run, and there's heaps of stairs there, right? Yeah, that was actually <laughs> quite fucked, and that would have been not long after I did it yeah. too, you know? I mean, the bone, the good thing is stand-up, you can, like, I can, I guess, like, depending on who you are, that knee could, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, some actually, um, it probably would, like hold them back you know if you're like a physical dude yeah, running yeah, around yeah. on stage which I'm not really I mean I'm not against it but I don't I don't do much of it yeah, so like yeah. but even just like I've hated it and I said this to the physio like I don't want to be sort of limping out to the microphone mm. because then people are thinking like what's wrong with this cunt you know yeah, like yeah, it's, it's just you don't want any or you do you the old the Willy neutral. Wonka where you limp up and then you do a spin and oh yeah yeah you yeah you fool yeah. everyone but like what we're talking about with the intro like you just don't want any or well, for me anyway you know like you just want to yeah. yeah, have it the slate be as clean as possible before yeah. you start rather Blank than canvas. like, oh, this guy's limping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is he, is this, I don't know. You'll be known as the limping comedian. Mm. You don't want that sort of floating around. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's all, yeah. Maybe I'll get the cane. Yeah, know, like I'll be yeah. one of those. There's a few comedians like with props like that. You know, yeah. House MD or whatever it is, the yeah. show. Just but addicted anyway. to painkillers, getting up every night. But yeah, yeah your room, Sweeney's, was was actually a yeah, fuck. Because it's not only is there stairs, <laughs> yeah. but they're old stairs yeah. with a shit gradient. Illegal fucking gradient, yeah. you know? like what yeah. the, That's what the CFME would call an illegal gradient. A comedian support worker called me up, and this bloke's in a wheelchair, and was like, hey, can you come do Sweeney's? And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I oh, don't think it's right. going to work out. Yeah, yeah, It's just yeah. so many stairs there's no lift 
It's, yeah. Does everyone do the bit about it? Like, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a bit of a, you know, oh, they're not here, are they? Yeah, the yeah. Stairs you know whatever. who does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't name names. but Oh, I mean, I've seen Evan. No, no, this is all around. <laughs> just an update on the guy who fell and we thought was having a heart attack. He's there just sunbaking to fuck, He's you know, like not a life. care in the world. <laughs> Pretty crazy. He doesn't want to get up. That's the thing. He'll be planted there all day because he knows yeah. getting up is going to be a challenge. Yeah. I think he, I nearly did what he did in that the, you've got the the normal stairs, speaking of stairs and the gradient, like where you've got about six stairs, but yeah. then you've got the blocks. Yeah. And I think he thought the blocks were going to be the normal stairs and didn't look because mm. I nearly did it. And then you would have taken a step, you know, like... But then to be fair, he did just fall on the sand as well the second time. Yeah. There's no stairs in his way then. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing worse. It's like reminds me. Sometimes you'll step down off the ladder when you're mm. working, and you but you think you're on the bottom step, and you're on the second bottom step. <laughs> there was a comedian once who got up and was like, "You know, we can try our best to do these jokes and stuff, but there's still nothing funnier than just a bloke eating shit." Yeah, and yeah. that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> do you follow Kook Slams on Instagram? Oh, my friend actually sent me one the other day. Yeah. I don't follow it, you know, but I've seen I've seen a few of them. Yeah, yeah. there was one the other day with a guy. I mean, I always liked... I like Home Alone, the film. Yeah. Like, the, that stuff in there. And yeah. then... Oh, not so much, like, funniest home videos. Like, But, there, yeah, it is... There's something about it. A slam, a kook slam, what they call it, or whatever. Yeah. It's the impact. Have you ever had any of your slams caught on film? Oh, I would have, but I probably haven't had anything. I mean, you know, touch wood and all that. I'm just trying to think. Or funny ones... I mean, there might be a few out there, uh, but nothing that I can think of that have, yeah, been real bad or anything like that, thankfully. My, we, my mate and I were skating at Sydenham Skate Park the other night, and he was trying a trick, and I was filming him, and I was like, this one's great, this one's great. He's like, nah, you got to post the process. So he wanted to post all his stacks because oh, right. he's like, yeah. I want people to know I'm working hard on this trick. Yeah. Skating's a lot of comedy in that way, you know. You've you got to build up to something. you got to you know, hone yeah, your craft. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is the similarities for sure. Um, because I guess it's like an individual thing and all mm. that stuff. And uh, what would the difference? Yeah I, guess, yeah, I guess it's just working on a bit or whatever. Sometimes you'll get a first go and sometimes it takes. What, what? When did you get into comedy? At what age? 25, 24 yeah. maybe. Yeah. 2008, maybe 2007. Yeah. What was your first gig? Uh, it was at the Roxbury, this place at Roxbury. Actually a pretty sick room, which mm. has been knocked down here. Yeah. It was a pub, you know, and they had like... I guess it would have been a designated sort of band room but a real small you know and like mm. people used to cram in there it was quite good uh yeah so it would have been yeah it would have been then you go all right yeah first one was good yeah. yeah it is like such a match point thing i think with comedy what was your first gig like uh i i, I had two first gigs so i tried when i was <laughs> yeah. real young and Very, it was so bad yeah okay i did a three minute spot at the chippo yeah. But it was like a workshop room, so you'd come in and just try material, but I didn't know that. So I'm coming yeah, in right. with a bit of polished stuff. And everyone's like, yeah, no, none of that. We're just here to like sort out <laughs> ideas. Fuck, that's funny. It's like there's always some rule, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, there's a lot of that now, work in progress, try all this stuff. Yeah. But, uh, but then I went back, you know, many years later. And because what? Because that first one was bad. Uh, I just was so young and I don't know, I wasn't good and I didn't really, I just wanted to try it, I guess, that old thing of like, let's give this a go. And it didn't really stick the first time, I guess. I mean, I had a bit of a run, but I got back into it like three or four weeks before COVID. And so I did, I did a few gigs and then went into oh, lockdown. Oh, right. So yeah. I just had, I had like a few good gigs, but then I had like a year of just nothing and I could just sit at home and write. And I think that's where I actually got into it. Like just being at home with nothing to do. It's like, all right, let's just write some gear. Yeah. Some of that stuff is good because it mm. does sort of form, you know, you really concentrate on it. Whereas when comedy's on, mm. you'll have half an idea, but then you got the show. You know what I mean? You, you might stump yeah. out an idea that like, whereas if there, you couldn't do it for like... 
I felt that way after the second lockdown actually yeah. in Sydney that I had sort of gathered all this stuff and I had I don't want to say like I had a new 10 out of the game but it felt you mm. know good like that but like for me it wasn't like I was only a few weeks into comedy really before COVID so it didn't really affect me but for you I'm guessing it really was pretty hard like you, you had a career pumping and then to oh. just be like you can't do it anymore <laughs> yeah <man." laughs> yeah yeah if not for the virus yeah what could have been <laughs> It was, oh, I mean, it was more just frustrating because you worked on it. So, and then it was like, is this even going to be a, th- you know, or whatever. I mean, it's hard to remember now what it was like, but I guess it was scary. And then, yeah, you just, but you just like simply missed it rather than, it wasn't like the, like that money side of it. Cause I guess yeah. I wasn't really making money, but it was more that like you did, it was like your life, you know, yeah, it yeah. did sort of hit me hard at first. It did, it did, it did make me feel a bit full on. But, but you're, um, you're pretty good with the Connie T, you're pretty good with the content. So... I saw something you put up a while ago, you and Dan Muggleton doing that Zoom gig, and you were in the back of an Ola. Yeah, and that's yeah. Like, honestly, I really like that if you're watching this. Yeah, yeah, watch the Uber Pool gig I did in the... It was like... <laughs> it's a cinematic masterpiece, I mate. do, yeah, so I do like it. I like the idea, <laughs> and then just got lucky... The bloke, it's an Uber share or an Ola yeah, share. The yeah. bloke's holding up a spotlight for you. Well, it was like, <laughs> I forget how it happened. It was like booked in. Yeah, it was booked in to do this like lockdown gig, you know, yeah, Zoom, yeah, Zoom yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And then, but in the, they'd sold the tickets or whatever, but then it kind of, things had opened up, you know, like, and so you, it, it wasn't really necessary. I don't know, there must have been... I don't think comedy had started yet, but it wasn't far off. The yeah, restrictions yeah. had been lifted to some degree. Yeah. And then, um, so I didn't, I wasn't even really interested in doing this Zoom gig. And then he's like, oh, come to mine. This is Daniel. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to go to your, you know. I said, what about this? I'll just circle around in the Uber and do it there. It'd be funny, you know. And he's he was into it. <laughs> but then I ended up getting it to his. So it's sort of like. I mean, watch it if you don't have to watch it. But I thought that was good. It was so in the lot, you know, in the coronavirus like <laughs> canon. I was happy with all the shit with the fucking, you know, Dave Chappelle out in the backyard or whatever. Yeah, and that yeah. I thought that doing it in the in the Uber was was fucking good. Yeah, I, I'm glad Daniel Muggleton was on board with it because I could imagine pitching an idea like that to the person organising the gig, and they're just like, "Nah, man, just come and do it straight." But well, it was all on the fly, and the worry yeah. was the was the quality, you know, mm, because the I always worry. Quality. You're, you have a great idea in your head and then when no one's on board you're like oh does this thing have legs or not but it's great when people get behind it so and that thing came to life and I'm guessing did you do a, a dry run or you just went for gold first time no no it all just happened like that and then fortunately I guess it records anyway you know yeah. the gig or he did it and stuff so yeah it worked out well I'm glad the idea was the reason why I got it there was because if it was um, the quality or whatever the sound in the thing then I'd finish it off Mm. at the things but I didn't do much Zoom comedy shit did you do much no. I did a couple but not like the way some people were talking about it where they were doing heaps you know yeah. it's shit though it was shit like it's not something I'd be interested in doing yeah. you know like oh it's like oh I guess I'll do this now and it's cool oh you, you haven't got pants on or whatever you know you're just <laughs> in shorts and the thing and I just oh I, uh, I did a, a talk back show so I would just get comedians to call in and they could if they wanted to run some bits by me that was fine but if yeah. they just wanted to have a chat they could do that and that was my way of sort of doing a bit of COVID material but I tried to stay away from it I was just trying to watch as many films every day and yeah that's not a bad way yeah I, um, I was watching like two to three films a day while working from home <laughs> It was great. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that takes... the dream. Yeah, that I know, takes, a lot of people were suffering during this time, but, man, I was living my best life. It's good, like, getting a few movies out, for yeah. sure. So, I want to chat mainly about something you did a while ago with drag, because this was... Oh, yeah, here we really are, surfing, great, yeah. yeah little, a really great little short film. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of a short film skate film surf film it's a bit of everything a bit of comedy in there it's it's really really well made how did that all come about it came about because they were doing uh passport were making their softboard is that what you call it like the surfboard they did the six foot the drag board the collab you know everything collab these days (laughs) and then i think i guess like in the same vein it was like they were meant to do a tour for that and go they were, and like just make a video that way mm. I think with like uh, I hadn't met Harry Bryant who's a big big surfer and stuff 
but and you know with with the with the drag lads and the party like that was the idea surfing and skating and camping and all that sort of shit and then they couldn't do it because of corona you know so like but i think the boards had been ordered you know it was all happy like the industry side of it was happening so they had to try and sell them somehow you know so we made that instead like mm. they were like oh what could we do and then i sort of had that idea loosely to do whatever that story i can't even i haven't seen it for a minute <laughs> but it was yeah it was really fun actually mm. it was really good and then luke who i work with obviously luke smith um you know director or whatever uh uh did what he had to do to make it yeah but it was it was actually a lot of fun and it was like again another piss take because we're out skating in the lockdowns and then it was all you know that we had we just basically wrote the it was like a film that we were working you know mm. it ticks a lot of boxes for me because it's got the classic sort of skate film you guys getting chased by security guards doing all this stuff like you've got this foam board that you've yeah yeah tr- skateboard trucks on and you're skating on this foam board and you it's yeah you're doing like it kind of reminds me of the old body board films that they would do sort of silly stuff like that, but then yeah, they would go yeah. out and shred as well. It was it was actually a lot of fun. It is it is worth a watch actually. Mm, and it's it real was, good. It was pretty fun, and I remember doing the fucking. <laughs> there's like a really famous skate photo with this guy Lance Mountain, mm. where it's like he's on the footpath and the puddle and the cars doing the wave and he's yeah. in the wave. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if and I guess everyone was out and yeah I don't know how it came about with the. The, the, the wheels on the surf like that was sort of the whole premise yeah. of it you know and then I don't know if I just had the idea to do that like that would be cool I mean I don't know what, what I thought I would do with it on it otherwise you know mm. like riding it I thought oh that'd be cool and I knew a spot where that where the water really puddled you know just up on Oxford Street and then we had to get like we had to have a driver yeah and I was like oh that'd be pretty fucking sick and like Lance does a like backside is it called backside when you're in I think it is you know where it's like uh, so the waves coming over the top of him, and I sort of did it front side. But we had the car. I'd be like, "Let's go," you know, timing. He did a few runs, and like <laughs> that was kind of enjoyable when I had that idea. I was like, "Fuck, this will work for this, I reckon." I get low, and I'm like in the fucking barrel yeah. on the surfboard. That was a lot of fun, actually. And I like the part when the boys get out in the water and start surfing. They've still got the skateboard trucks on the surfboard in the water. Yeah, they went out. <laughs> yeah, they were really good. This guy Kurt, and then Harry. Uh, and then a few of the drag guys and Dave Fox who worked on that is like does a lot of filming I, 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 I'm still a little bit unclear about what drag is you know because I'm not a surf guy <laughs> but it's like fucking sick too you I know? think they just make foamies yeah they make yeah I boards, think so yeah? but they're in around I mean surf culture is fucking if you're not into it yeah, like true. it's hard it's not that it's impenetrable but it's fucking hard to know what's cool and what's not you know do you know but the spot like that they were surfing in, in that film few different spots but yeah. i padded out in this spot down at like near uh taraji i forget i forget the name or it might be called like virgins or something like that oh yeah, yeah. but it's meant to be pretty hectic i'd never fucking paddled out before <laughs> in my life it took an hour to paddle out there i wasn't scared because of the swimming you know what i mean like strong swimmer but with the board it's a whole yeah, other yeah. story you know and, I would, and they were all happen. looking back like you know hurry up not hurry up like supportive but like it took me Longer than I th- think they could have even conceived it would take someone to do, you know? Because yeah. I guess when you, you're swimming's one thing, but when you got the board, you know, your arms are wider over it, so it's a different thing, but yeah, good stories. And then there was like a seal coming out of the water, oh, and I was like, what the fuck is that? This is my first, you know what I mean? Like, and then my mate didn't know. And I was like, well, fuck if you don't know. Like, you guys, I thought you guys did this. But it was clearly, I think it was like the fin sticking out. I mean, if you've seen seals coming out of the Mm. water, you'll know. But it was clearly like marine shit. It wasn't Mm. like a bit of wood or something, you know? It was like a living thing. I know when seals are sick. rubbery, like Batman. thin up a bit. Might have been, it was that maybe. Mm. But, oh, yeah. (laughs) But it was all, I was into it, you know? Oh, man. I wonder if I'd do it now. I probably wouldn't do it now. But when we were doing that, it was just sort of like what you did now I don't want to give the film away because everyone should go watch it but you do land a kickflip yeah 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 pretty sick <laughs> um the kick yeah yeah had to had to had to do that bit, I, of, bit of movie magic bit of movie yeah I get well you know you have to you, maybe <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, it is fascinating that side of like the stuff they're doing on those on those boards surfing like mm. the way they've done skating I mean it's funny because yeah you know 
traditionally skating has appropriated the surf you know what i mean like yeah. that's the whole fucking point of yeah, it yeah. how it started and then to sort of go and back the other way where they're doing they do like the kickflip is one but there's a fair few shove and stuff getting done i think that's a bit more easier and that's kind of sick too yeah. and i know some of those guys you know sort of, we still got each other on the on the gram and all that and they you know they do like back 360s and shit like it's fucking sick yeah. like it must feel amazing to do shit like that but also to stick it, like when you skateboard, you might try a few shovets on the carpet, on the grass or on the concrete yeah. and you can sort of get the feel for it. Surfing, you've got to get up, catch a wave, get a nice wave, get a bit of air somehow and then try and stick it. So there's, there's a bit yeah, of a process yeah, to it. Yeah, 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 totally. It was, um, and I think, yeah, he did like to be able to do what we did. Someone had to make one, this guy, and there was like, but you know, it was not easy. And there would be reports were coming back every day, oh, close today. And there'd be <laughs> a few takes from the, ca- you know, yeah, sent through yeah. to the group chat or whatever. Yeah, pretty exciting. But um, Have you ever had a go on a wakeboard or a wake skate? Oh, one time wakeboarding years ago, but I couldn't get into it, yeah. you know, and then I just never. I mean, it all looks fun, but it's like. I mean, skating, I guess, not to be break down and all this shit, but it was all, you know, you can do it in the car park yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know, like it's there, whereas like other stuff, it's like you got to get there. And not saying stroke, one's better yeah. or worse, but I know what like caters to my lifestyle more. Mm. And it's similar, you know, even with like stand up comedy, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you just got to get there, you know, and there's no setup, not for what I'm doing, you know? So yeah. like, um, I'm more, would be more attracted to those things, you yeah. know? Yeah. Where you, you don't have to, do anything you've been able to somehow throughout your career like bring all your passions and loves together which has been really great you've you've, <laughs> you've, you've, you've got the redfern electrical stuff you've got the skating stuff you've got the comedy stuff yeah any other little you love tennis you love basketball yeah i'm actually it's embarrassing how much of a fucking sport and sh- you know like because the skating you're supposed to hate this you know <laughs> yeah, it does yeah. like tunnel vision you a bit and then i guess it's just from getting a bit older and i do like watching I've gotten really back into basketball and stuff. And then tennis, I like the game too. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it's all pretty good. It's all yeah. part of life, you know. I'll be That's watching it. the rugby league uh, and the AFL grand finals this weekend and I don't know fucking heaps about it. Mm. But uh, I guess, like, it's like you come... You know, even if you're, like, into film and stuff like that and writing and stuff, but sport is the ultimate theatre, you know? Because like, mm. it's like you don't know what's going to happen. Mm. And no one does. But everyone's fucking trying their hardest. Yeah, I guess it all comes from the gladiators, you know. Kind, well, yeah, stuff. I guess so. The entertainment side yeah, of it yeah. and the passion and, um, yeah, that's what I like about tennis. The tennis very, like, Street Fighter too reminds me <laughs> of, you know, like all these people all around the world flying versus yeah. each other, you know. And they make similar sounds as well to the Street Fighter. I guess, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got Redfern Electrical Episode 2 coming out real soon. Yeah. The first one was incredible. When I first saw it, I was like, give this bloke a fucking Logie, because that was one of the best oh, performances I've ever Thank seen. Oh, that's Thank you. And that's the thing. You got these blokes going around. Remember when Kenny came out, Shane Jacobson did yeah, that film yeah. about he was a Portaloo dude, and everyone fucking praised that and loved it. It was yeah. a pretty average movie, I thought. Oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, people, cause, yeah, people were talking about Kenny when my thing came out, and I, I re-watched it. And I thought it was, um, no, I thought it was good, yeah. you know? Yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to see it again. I just think when you're playing around, and I know it was low budget and all that sort of stuff, when you, but when you're playing around with the mockumentary th- format, you got to do something real different. And I think that's what you were able to tap into. There was definitely, for me, a bit of a, a Larry David vibe there, especially with your writing, especially how you pull it all together at the end as well. But even the encounters you were getting in with other characters. Yeah. Were you influenced by by Seinfeld and Larry and that sort of stuff? Oh, more than I could probably even say, yeah. just because that's the first shit. Like that'd be the reason why I'd be doing like comedy or anything, because yeah. that was like when I was great, and that was on TV on Channel Ten or whatever. That's the really the only access to anything like that there was, you know. I mean, there would have been footy shows, stand up comedy yeah. and stuff, but I reckon Seinfeld's where I sort of first learned about stand up you know when I was a kid and stuff and then I've loved I really do like all that shit a lot you know sign like all yeah and Curb I haven't watched heaps of it recently but like I've watched it all in the past so fucking much Mm. you know and I do like the way that works and then that was part of the goal of making that Luke was oh do you want to do you know, you just had it was again. It was a COVID. Have you got time? Have you got a five? You know, thing or do a sketch or whatever. Yeah. And I just had a couple of ideas, you know. And then it was, you know, more we talked about. I was like, well, why don't we do this? And then it's like, well, fuck, if we're gonna do this, let's do it. You know, let's do the pilot. Let's make it this long. You know, mm. and then 
and then uh, and then yeah, here we are with the second one. Yeah, yeah the second one looks great. I'm very excited about. It. You got the same crew helping you put it all together. Uh, is, is similar sort of narrative, similar sort of story. I line. think so. Yeah. yeah, I think it's yeah, it's just the the evolution. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun to. Do. I can't actually believe that we did it with. Well, not that it's crazy, but you'll see it. You know, but yeah. I'm happy that the story that I wanted to do, we did it. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, are, are you getting in front of final draft? Are you writing out scripts? Are you putting together a bit of a rundown? Or are you because when you're doing your pieces, especially talking to camera, like in the mockumentary style feels so natural it feels like you are sort of improvising and doing stuff on the spot or you, you're penning that sort of stuff down oh a bit of everything you know there's ideas from like 20 years ago that i've had that's that's what was cool about the first one that was an old idea you know and then but then yeah you'll do stuff on the day that you'll change or whatever and uh i mean it's great learning about production and stuff and what i like about it and what i don't and like i'm hoping we can grow it and i can fuck off all the shit i hate about it and then focus on the things I like about it you know so, and, and keep keep doing it you know because mm. I always find like as soon as you get a camera out as soon as you turn microphones on like you lose your soul <laughs> and it's hard to sort of step up and perform even with skating I reckon like you'll you'll yeah. stick heaps of tricks then you go to film and it's like nah you're not getting yeah it. totally so you're doing everything like you're you're writing this you're producing this you're performing in it and then you're doing like little skate scenes as well yeah could you enjoy those moments where you're just skating with all your mates and, and trying to get like a bit of content or where you're like nah we got to stick to a, you know we're going to lose sun in half hour we got to film this real quick <laughs> yeah or well, the time aspect of it is one is frustrating but uh, oh it's all I guess it's all part of it you learn like what is sort of necessary you know like and, and stuff and like yeah it does change when there's cameras, you know what I mean, what you're doing, but uh, that that's what I like the most about doing all this work is uh, learning all that stuff, you know what I mean, and hopefully coming up with a way of working that like is, you know, like an evolution of the way you want to do things mm. and I think you'll get, and you know, it's just cool to be funny in that space, yeah. you know. Are you are you a first take kind of guy? Do you get it first time every time? Nah, or do you... some, it's all different depending on... Uh, what's happening and then uh, but some, some stuff I can because I've got a real clear idea of like in my head of what it, you know what I mean uh, and uh, some but then sometimes it's just hard I guess I enjoy it is kind of like a skate thing it comes back to that of like you know landing it and getting getting the clip you mm. know and like, I, that, I feel like that oh I'll get one more go you know and all that stuff but you can get into a zone where it's like okay this is if we do any more it's just going to be another version of this you got to learn to like let go and it is what it is you know mm. I'm a big nerd and I think a lot of stuff comes together in the edit but if you don't have the goods it's very hard to polish a shit so and were you involved you obviously involved in the production but were you involved in the edit a bit as well yeah 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 fucking I'm crazy you know what I mean like you don't want to work with me yeah like in the comedy side that's not fun you know what I mean like <laughs> fucking blue t-shirt nothing funny about that or whatever you know like that's how crazy I am Jeez. It, rightly or wrongly you know were you editing skate videos at a young age uh, no, not really. And when I say edit, I'm there. I don't do the computer You're side of it, so I'd be frustrating <laughs> to work with like like that. But um, oh, you do a bit of stuff like you know what I mean. Like it's fucking around. Like I've made um, you know, little clips on the phone and fucking you know, talk talks and all that. As Jack Barrett would say, <laughs> um, I think everyone's doing a bit of that these days. Yeah. Obviously, like professional, there's nothing like mm. that. But it's sort of in essence, it, you know what I mean, yeah. like. Uh, and there's tools that you can use, um, I guess, that make, like, things funny and mm. stuff, you know? When I was a kid, like, all I dreamt about was having a handy cam, like a, a mini DV tape oh, handy yeah, cam. so you are one of those. So I could, like, film skate videos, I could film wakeboard videos, I could film surf videos, like, but then also do, like, some sketch stuff. And yeah, swear. yeah. And then now we've got phones that film 4K, HD, yeah. good audio, like, low light shooting, and I still don't film anything. And it's crazy, we've got, like, all this technology now, and I just, like, I can't be fucked. Well, it's almost like, it makes it annoying, you know what I mean? More ubiquitous, and then so it's like, oh, what's the point yeah. i guess maybe could be happening yeah. but yeah i was never the guy I, like i never wanted the camera mm. so to speak you know i guess um i've always wanted the laughs you know yeah, like that's yeah. that would be my instinct um but like i definitely think like that yeah it is kind of sick 
I mean, there's so much of everyone's like, oh, yeah, my short film's coming out and all this. <laughs> but, like, it's cool, you know? Mm. Well, I'm very excited about Redfern Electrical Episode 2. Premieres very soon. It's going to be up on YouTube soon, hopefully, as well, for everyone to see. Yeah. Are you putting it up on your personal YouTube channel again? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think so much about it. But, yeah, just like, yeah, just the same. The idea is just to keep it the same. You know, there's no, yeah. Um, I, I, I like the way I work on that show, you know, and I think it's good and, um the tube, yeah, it's all on the tube, or YouTube now, everything yeah. is, but I think that's what, they, that's what they're saying, you know. Mm. But I like YouTube, I think people are on there mm. watching shit, you know, like mm. when you're out, when you're home with your mates, fucking chilling or whatever. Well, was that one of your first big things that you put out, was Weed Cunt your first special? I guess so, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I had, maybe I would have even only had a channel, I mean, it's not like I haven't got a channel where I'm like, subscribe to my channel, like I don't <laughs> care about that. Um, but uh, maybe it was or maybe a few other there might have been a few little stand up clips before yeah, that yeah. and then uh, yeah I did one comedy special which is cool like I'm sure are you going to do a comedy special one day? Um, I, 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 I did a little half hour thing at the Sydney Comedy Festival and I filmed it on my iPhone and I was thinking I might do something funny with that like just you know how you can edit one shot and make it like you know zoom and make it look like a second shot just do like yeah, a okay. real dumb edit and then maybe i might export it to a vhs or something silly yes yeah, yeah there's so yeah i feel like people are playing with the mm. stand-up special yeah. format a bit but it's cool like when i did that i did have the feeling of like you know because i don't i don't stand up for ages up until then you know like maybe what was that five years definitely like around 10 years you know yeah, and then yeah. it's like cool that like you think oh yeah i got all this shit or whatever but yeah. that was like a product you know yeah, like yeah. a thing like an album or a, yeah. a special i guess so that was like uh that was cool and that's still up there i can't fucking really watch it it's just too cringe for me i to love watch. it it's but, so um, good. people people say it's good i mean everyone no one's gonna go oh yeah watch the stand up pretty shit or whatever but like <laughs> I, I guess it's good i like it i really liked that time and that air like those mm. bits that i had in mm. it you know and it's good you've got that like on tape and you, you shot it well and it's, it's getting yeah, a lot it of likes. Yeah, it is good because you do all this comedy and stuff yeah. and you think, like, what have I got? Because the last few, you've done a few hours since then and you haven't really been filming them. You, you said you recorded a few. I've filmed them, don't worry. Yeah? Are you going to put them up? Or don't know. You, I don't yeah. know what the... Yeah, I don't know what the future holds for, like, my body of work, you yeah, know? Yeah. I know, like... Yeah, definitely we'll do another one. It's hard to know the value of a stand-up special now with so many coming, coming and going, mm. and like all this sort of stuff. Um, and I want to do one thing. I really want to do is like the album, the comedy album, to listen to. You know, mm. just because I listened to a lot when I started, a lot of Hedberg like CDs yeah, and shit. Yeah. And I reckon it is cool, and people do like it. You know, and there is. I mean, this is a podcast, you know what I mean? And people will listen to this and I feel like a similar people would listen, you know, and just cruising around, stand up, rather than like yeah. sitting down and watching a special, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I've got, yeah, maybe I'll, there's something I've had in the back of my mind for a while to do, but I've got a cool thing that I could do it with, you know? Yeah. Like I've got, I've got the got recording. It. Yeah. Of a, of a sick show there's a Dave Attell album that everyone says like that's just the best stand up album you should have it in your car for oh really I'll stuff. check it I out I've got to find it I forget what it's called is it on Spotify or anything should be but yeah I, I love CDs I've got like a few albums in the car that I just whack like on like comedy comedy albums, yeah it is yeah. kind of cool like it is I guess if you're into comedy you might like it more so yeah. it might be lost on the body surf uh, yeah. thing but if we're on the beach here with the microphones you yeah. know so we're love but yeah something about it it's just kind of just this cool vibe. yeah the, the kind of the stand up album you know I um I was going to help Caution put together his album yeah yeah because he's like anyone can you know, help us record this and I know a little bit about the tech stuff but I'm glad I didn't do it because I probably would have fucked it up and whoever did it did a great job oh I'm it sure it would have been great. fine but yeah, he's yeah. the first guy I've seen in modern times put out like a just a good audio album yeah and that went just straight on Spotify but I love how he sort of did the track names and yeah like that. there's all the things you can do I mean if you're going crazy you would do you know like what musicians talk about with the the liner notes you know like yeah <laughs> just working on the liner notes but like a cover but he, I, even the Spotify like it kind of is a bit iconic almost you know the screenshot like if you whatever your art is and yeah, the green yeah, writing yeah, and shit yeah. like I'd be right into that yeah, yeah that is something I want to do actually I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it more. But then Caution also rolled the camera on it, so he's got the footage of it as well. Yeah. So I wonder what if the numbers are better on Spotify or on YouTube. 
It's weird when you put both up. Yeah, I guess so. I probably wouldn't... I'd probably try and do one or the other yeah. just to have it, you know, like... Um, but um, Our audio numbers for the podcast always do a lot better than just the video. Like, the video gets true. shit numbers. Yeah, but okay. the audio does a bit better. So, all right, maybe the, maybe people are more into just the audio these days. Yeah, I guess you got shit on, you yeah. know, and you're cruising around or you'll be on a plane or whatever. And, I mean, yeah. I suppose... Not that you couldn't watch it on a plane, yeah, but... True. um. You know, it's easy. It's more it's more passive, you know? Yeah. And you could do it like working. You know, you could listen to a comedy album like if you're working. Um, I mean, you couldn't do it on a building site or whatever. But like a lot of the jobs I do, I'll just be there working on my own and I could have it going yeah. if I wanted to, you know? I've seen you walking around town with your big headphones on. I'm, I'm I got, g- oh, these are yours. But yeah, I do have the um, funny, you know, these headphones that I got, yeah, big like sort of noise cancelling <laughs> yeah. ones I mean it's good listening to music but I, they are it sort of is annoying because it's a, definitely a certain vibe eh? yeah. this guy's got the headphones out <laughs> and they're ones that a lot of people have and I remember they were on special at JB Hi-Fi for like from 300 to 150 or something like that but there was something must have happened some fuck up because there were a big pile of them you know yeah. and it must have been Australia wide <laughs> like you'll go to Perth and do shows or something and there's someone there will have a pair and you're like did you get these from fucking they're like yeah yeah 150 bucks yeah. you know so I don't know what the fuck happened to them what are you listening to after a gig? I always see you put the headphones on. Are you listening to oh, a bit of hip hop? It's just the no. I'll just have the fucking liked songs and just burn through them. Unless I got a song at the moment, you know. But nothing too crazy. And I'm very wary of like, I, you know, I've got these fucking red fern electrical and comedy stuff. So I try not to. I'm not trying to inflict any music upon it. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like guys. I'm doing a guest DJ spot at the part. You know? Like it's like. <laughs> You don't have to, yeah. I would actually love to see that. No, nah, I don't have, you know, I am, I'm just, I just like the, you know. Because music's been a big part of skate film, surf film. Yeah, for that's so, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, I enjoy music yeah. that way, yeah, but I, I feel like I shouldn't, with everything I've done, I feel the, I'm lucky to have the support and I feel yeah. like I'd just be tipping it to go, yeah. like, oh, yeah, I'm doing some music shit. I was yeah. fucking playing the guitar with my mate, just mucking around, yeah. you know, and I was saying the same thing, like, yeah, no one, no one's interested in that. I know, it's hard. I love music and I, I'll do a fucking guest DJ spot. You'll be doing it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I, like, I, like I've I've been on the guitar a bit as well, and I'm like, I might just keep this to myself, eh? Hey? Like, it's well, one especially of those with things. comedy because it feels like you know if it, it's pushing it, you know, it's like okay, yeah, stand, you know, like, um, hey guys, check out my, co-, you know, like yeah. it's like, yeah, so yeah, you don't want to inflict any more on anyone than you have to, I guess. Well, I'm really keen to get in the water my feet are getting a bit itchy and it's actually looking pretty nice out there not many people i thought it'd be packed down here on a public holiday sydney you can Beach. definitely do it early you know like mm. people don't like getting up yeah. so early i find and so you can do all i was saying to someone the other day do, yeah summer and stuff's crazy but if you if you're up before eight yeah. like you can get a park i mean yeah. it's a bit hard today but no, we like, did all right. yeah. it's like but yeah i think it's going to be a big weekend it's going to be busy f- I mean, I don't want to get into it, how old I am and what I think about this, you know? <laughs> but yeah, long weekends are fucked. Let's get into it. Well, uh, we got to get out of here. John Crookshank, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for being on the Body Surf podcast. Have a great long no weekend. Problems, it's yeah. going to be a scorcher. you got to remember, though, it's always overhead. Overhead when you're out body surfing. Absolutely. I f- he said I might forget and I have forgotten. <laughs> but I'm into the vibe, you know? We're going to go catch one now. You. See ya. Bye.